The 2021 Toyota Prius is using two types of batteries, both lithium ion and nickel metal hydride uh, hydride batteries. Um, in this report, our friend Jeff Tick, who is Torque News' Toyota reporter, uh, explains us to understand why the 2020 Toyota Prius uses both lithium ion and nickel metal hydride batteries. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel. Um, help me to please share these videos in social media and like this video, and that will help me tremendously. And uh, ring the notification bell so you don't miss my my next uh, electric vehicle or Tesla story. Toyota hybrid vehicle uses either lithium ion or nickel metal hydride batteries. The 2021 Prius uses both and we're going to break it down for you with the help of our friend Jeff Tick. Jeff writes that Toyota Prius is the best-selling hybrid of all times and has been one of the most reliable and dependable cars on the market for two decades in short this is a vehicle owners can trust in fact friends i don't know if you knew or no i have a 2012 toyota prius has been have been driving it has been a daily driver for me and my wife um i don't drive that now very much recently because i test drive a lot of other cars but uh, it has been an excellent car for me and i uh, i would buy it again um i when my uh, children asked me what cars would you like me to drive i said either electric or if it's going to be hybrid it's going to be prius they said no we don't like the prius it looks like an egg i said i don't know whether how it looks but i don't think it looks like an egg that's what they told me my older son is 17 years old now he's about to get his first car uh, but um, i said the toyota prius is truly a very reliable car we have done long distances and daily driving every day so of course getting terrific fuel economy does not hurt one bit either current 2021 toyota prius is is rated up to 58 miles per gallon in the city, 53 miles per gallon on the highway, and 56 miles per gallon combined for the L Eco Dream level. That's amazing. Mine gets uh, close to 50 if I drive carefully, otherwise, it's in the between 45 and 50. And that's 2012 Prius. I recently wrote a torque news story, uh, says Jeff, about uh, how long a Toyota hybrid battery generally lasts. Friends, I will have the link of that video in the description of that of this uh, video. So, and the link of that Prius story in the description of this video because it's a great story to read. And and uh, Jeff says this got me thinking more about batteries. What about the different types of hybrid batteries? Toyota hybrid vehicles typically utilize either a nickel metal hydride, it's called NIMH, or lithium ion, L ion batteries. One of the other, the 2021 Prius uses both of them. Let's uh, analyze them. So the 2021 Toyota Prius. Jeff says you may recognize the 2021 Toyota Prius trim levels as they are coming from a familiar place. Just like on other popular Toyota models, you will see L Eco, L E, X, L E, and Limited. These are all front wheel drive 2021 Toyota Prius trims. Prius also features all will drive trims as well they will be labeled as le all will drive e le awd dash e and xle awd e two all wheel drive trims levels the e stands for electric both all wheel drive toyota prius grades come with a nickel metal hydride battery Nickel batteries can withstand harsher temperature changes. Therefore, this hybrid battery choice is ideal for colder climates where snow and ice and frigid temperatures are more prevalent. You know that snowy frigid temperatures are important test grounds for electric vehicles. In fact, right now we are seeing that um, Tesla is test driving one of its four 
uh, semi truck prototypes in harsh weather. They have one of them has been seen in Chicago in harsh weather, in dirt and snow. Uh, because when the weather gets very cold, if you are new to electric cars, your uh, battery uh, kind of power uh, drops a little bit, and some people see up to 15 20 percent battery drop and range drop in the cold weather. This is why electric vehicle producers or car companies who produce electric and hybrid vehicles they try to find new battery chemistries so um, hybrid batteries uh, can uh, face and be great for colder climates where snow and ice and frigid temperatures are most prevalent so this is why toyota in its 21 model is using nickel metal nickel metal hydride or hydride batteries and jeff says yes i'm talking to you michigan and boston and denver drivers uh, he says he grew up in michigan and learned to drive there and he says he wishes he had something like prius all-wheel drive e e stands for electric um, there when he was growing up now and then jeff goes on talking about lithium ion batteries versus nickel metal hydride batteries Th he says the more familiar name here is nickel metal hydride this hybrid battery by toyota has been around the longest it is dependable and long lasting then again he says so is lithium ion batteries that is the beauty here Either Toyota hybrid battery type is reliable and trustworthy over time, either of them. And he says lithium ion is the newer kid on the block. It is smaller and lighter than its NIMH uh, nickel metal uh, counterpart, counterpart. Although both can hold and store a similar level of power, the lithium ion battery is able to charge and discharge quicker. So you see what's happening here. Lithium ion battery for Toyota Prius uh, electric is um, hybrid electric is. Uh, helping to charge and discharge quicker and uh, whereas the NIMH battery the nickel um, metal battery hybrid battery is helping Toyota Prius in cold weather area so this is the beauty of the whole thing uh, Jeff says a lighter battery like lithium ion may be advantageous in a hybrid as it aids in getting Toyota Prius going easier and faster that's the benefit for lithium ion Jeff also says that one potential pitfall for lithium ion battery is that it does not last as long as NIMH battery in extremely high temperatures. Maybe he says, I'm talking about you, Arizona here. I had to pick a geography that is known for harsh heat. I was not singling you Arizona out. <laughs> I promise, Jeff says in its story, in his story, and says lithium ion is more expensive technology compared against nickel metal hydride. The good news here is that lithium ion is becoming more and more common. Costs for both battery types should decrease over time because we've seen more research is coming into electric vehicle batteries. Tesla is going to have its uh, 4680 batteries. Uh, Toyota is uh, rumored to bring its solid state batteries, which is a totally different story, and we have covered that. And Jeff says, I guess uh, the take home message here is that there is a place for both battery types in the Toyota hybrid world. Hopefully, it will give you some peace of mind knowing that both nickel metal hydride and lithium ion batteries are incredibly dependable and will last you a long time. If not, remember the new Toyota Extended Hybrid Battery Warranty that covers your hybrid battery for 10 years or 150,000 miles, says Jeff. He also says that uh, uh, this gives uh, Toyota drivers and Toyota previous uh, hybrid drivers more peace of mind. And um, so uh, before I go and ask your thoughts on this, friends, I would like to ask, uh, are you, uh, how many of the listeners here are hybrid vehicle owners? I know that in our Torque News YouTube channel, only about 20% once I polled one time, 21% were Tesla owners. And I do a lot of Tesla stories. Maybe the rest of you are Tesla uh, investors. But how many here are hybrid vehicles? And uh, are you interested in more news about hybrid vehicles? Please let me know uh, in the comment section below. And uh, Jeff is asking, saying, do you own a Toyota hybrid like Prius? 
or RAV4 Hybrid or Camry Hybrid or maybe RAV4 Prime uh, and what has been your experience so far? We would like to hear feedback from you in the description, uh, actually in the comment section of this video. Um, how many miles do you guys have on your vehicle and what is your gas, gas, gas mileage uh, uh, typically? Uh, Jeff says, I have driven a Toyota Prius all-wheel drive E recently but only for short drives. What do you think of yours if you have the Toyota Prius all-wheel drive E? What do you think of your vehicle and how does it do in the snow and heavy rain? Well, friends, thank you for uh, listening and watching. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Uh, please uh, like this video, share in social media. That helps me tremendously. And uh, ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And subscribe to our channel. And God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below. See you soon, friends. Have a great day.